Good evening. This is All India Radio and I'm Anuja Kumar with the news at 9. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says government is focused on financial inclusion of the poor, especially in remote areas. India and Cyprus inked two MOUs on financial intelligence sharing and environment. President Ramnath Kovind invites Cyprus to join International Solar Alliance. One nation one card policy for connectivity between various modes of transport to be unveiled shortly says Niti Aayog. In Karnataka, Congress emerges as single largest party closely followed by BJP in urban local bodies elections. And in cricket, Virat Kohli maintains top slot as test batsman in latest ICC rankings. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said his government has focused on financial inclusion from the very beginning of its term. He said be it bank accounts, social security or access to credit, there is a paradigm shift that is benefiting the poor and middle class due to government's efforts. Mr Modi said this while replying to people on his Twitter handle who were lauding the center's recent move to launch India Post Payment Banks. He said those living in remote areas will particularly get benefit from the post banks. These banks will offer a range of products such as savings and current accounts, money transfer, bill and utility payments and merchant payments. India and Cyprus had signed two MOUs on financial intelligence and in the field of environment. The MOUs were signed between the two countries after delegation level talks in Nicosia today. India and Cyprus agreed for the revision in the double taxation avoidance agreement made in 2016 to further enhance investment partnership to grow by strengthening the institutional framework to facilitate investment cross flows. In his address after holding discussion with the president of Cyprus Nikos Anastasiadis today President Ramnath Kovind said that both the countries have agreed to enhance business collaboration in the field of IT and IT enabled services tourism shipping and renewable energy Mr Kovind expressed concern over the threat of terrorism We expressed deep concern at a grave threat that terrorism poses to humanity and calls for developing a strong global response to defeat and destroy this evil. I thank Cyprus for extending support for India's permanent membership of the UN Security Council. The president also addressed an extraordinary session of the House of Representatives of Cyprus. Mr Kovin said that there is a great potential of cooperation between India and Cyprus in the field of renewable energy. He invited Cyprus to become a part of International Solar Alliance. We have a report from our correspondent. Speaking at the House of Representatives of Cyprus, President Ramnath Kovin talked about the shared heritage of Mahatma Gandhi and Archbishop Makarios. He said relations between India and Cyprus are multifaceted, deep and historical. The strong connection between the people of the two countries energizes the warm ties. Drawing strength from this, the India-Cyprus relations are growing stronger to take up the challenge of terrorism, clean energy, and sustainable development for a better life for their people. Rajesh Jha, AIR News, Nicosia, Cyprus. India has fast-tracked several initiatives aimed at achieving all the core tenets of universal health coverage. These include strengthening health systems, improving access to free medicines and diagnostics, and reducing healthcare spending. Health Minister JP Nadda inaugurating the 71st session of the WHO Regional Committee for Southeast Asia in New Delhi today said that the country has recently launched the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya scheme he said under the scheme the center is reaching out to around 40% of country's population covering 10 crore families which will be provided an insurance cover of 5 lakh rupees per family to cover secondary and tertiary health care Niti Aayog Chief Executive Officer Amitabh Kant has said India will shortly unveil a one nation one card policy for public transport that will entail connectivity between various modes of transport. 
Addressing a function on Future Mobility Summit 2018 in New Delhi, Mr. Khan said, a robust transportation sector is the backbone for the development of any economy. He said the road transportation segment alone contributes to around 4% of country's GDP. In Uttarkashi, 13 lost their lives and two other injured when a mini bus fell into the Bhagirathi River due to landslide triggered after the incessant rain today. Our correspondent has the details. 15 local people were returning from Gangotri Temple today when their vehicle fell into Bhagirathi River following sudden landslides near Batwadi on Gangotri National Highway. Casualties included three women. District Administration and Disaster Management Team reached on the spot for rescue operation. Chief Minister Chiban Singh Rawat has instructed the officials to ensure speedy rescue and relief work and proper treatment of the injured. He also instructed to provide immediate financial assistance to the dependents of the deceased. Raghavesh Pandey, AIR News, Dehradun. In Uttar Pradesh, incessant rain has claimed 18 more lives in past 24 hours. In Mainpuri, one bridge over Sengar River was damaged, cutting Karhal Sirsaganj Road. Bundelkhand and western part of state are hit by flood fury, where almost all rivers are in spate. Rains also lashed several parts of Punjab and Haryana today, leading to a dip in the mercury in the region by up to 6 degrees Celsius. The Met Department forecast light to moderate rainfall at many places in the region during the next two days. The Met Department also said with a low-pressure area likely to form over the Bay of Bengal around Thursday, Odisha may receive heavy to very heavy rainfall for two days. In the national capital, heavy rain caused water logging and traffic snarls. Delhi has received 35.9 mm rainfall in last 24 hours. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will tomorrow interact with awardees of the National Teachers Awards on the eve of Teachers' Day. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu will be conferring the awards to them at a function in New Delhi on the 5th of September. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today met the family members of late former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee at their residence in New Delhi. Vajpayee passed away last month at the age of 93. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. In Karnataka, the Congress has emerged as the single largest party, gaining highest number of seats in the urban local bodies election. Out of 2,662 wards, Congress has won 982, followed closely by BJP with 929, and JDS has won in 372 wards. In 329 wards, the independent candidates have won over major political parties. In Dakshin Kannada and Udupi districts, BJP has dominated the results. A victory procession turned tragic in Tumkuru district when 10 people were injured when a coloured water allegedly mixed with acid was sprayed on them. District Superintendent of Police Dr. Devya Gopinath said that someone within the crowd sprayed some liquid on the crowd. The crop insurance scheme of the centre is being provided in Jharkhand for insurance coverage and financial support to farmers in case of loss due to natural calamities, pests and diseases. The purpose of this scheme is to encourage farmers to adopt progressive farming practices high-value inputs and advanced technology, and to help stabilize their farm incomes. Here is a ground report from our Ranchi correspondent. Farmers of Jharkhand are benefiting from the crop insurance scheme of the union government. Since large part of agriculture depends on rain's water, hence most of the farmers had apprehension of possible loss. Crop insurance scheme is taking out this from the farmer's mind. Our reporters talked to numerous farmers all across the state and they narrated their experience. One such beneficiary, Ashok Kumar Mato of Sindega, shared his experience. Sindega Sindega me, paach ekad khet hai. Pichla baar mujhe paach ekad ka jo bhi nuksan hua tha, uska muwaza mila. Usko dekhte hai, is vars bhi mai kar diya hoon. Baiz kam hoonay se fasal kharaab ho jati hai. Iska chinta mujhe bana rahta tha. Lekin is bima ke thru se, abhi nishchint hoon, agar paani kam bhi aati hai, ya koi region se fasal kharaab bhi ho jata hai, to ab chinta nahi hai, mujhe uska muwaza milega. It is clear that crop insurance scheme is providing a solid ground for farmers to be optimistic about their outcome. Rajesh Sinha, EIR News, Rachi. 
Janmashtami, which marks the birth of Lord Krishna, is being celebrated across the country today. Devotees throng the temples to offer prayers to Lord Krishna. Mathura and Vrindavan in Uttar Pradesh is fully geared up to celebrate the birth of Lord Krishna. Here is a report. All roads are leading to Vrindavan, Gokul, Nandgram, Govardhan and Barsana, where the temples have been adorned with flowers and beautiful lighting for the celebration of Lord Krishna's birth at midnight. In spite of rainfall, lakhs of devotees are thronging Krishna Janbhumi for Janmashtami celebrations. Many foreign nationals are also chanting, dancing on the bhajans of Lord Krishna. In other cities also, people have decorated tablets of Lord Krishna in their homes and waiting eagerly for the midnight. Sushil Chandra Tiwari, AIR News, Lucknow. In Mumbai, Govinda troops competed in Dahi Handi celebrations by forming human pyramids and breaking pitchers strung high above the ground for hefty cash prizes. This year's festival season of Mumbai began today with the Dahi Handi celebrations. Youths of various Govinda Mandals, including women Govinda Mandals, are performing their extraordinary skills and streets in Mumbai are crowded with people who have gathered there to experience the thrill of the human pyramids. At some places, the teams of local Govinda Mandals broke the Dahi Handis in the morning. Shailesh Patil, AIR News, Mumbai. President Ram Nath Kovind, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have greeted the people on the occasion. Domestic stocks today closed with losses, pairing early intraday gains following weakness in other Asian share markets. The rupee weakened to a fresh lifetime low. Here is a report. Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange lost 0.86% or 333 points to 38,313. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange also declined 0.84% or 98 points to 11,582. Rupee weakened 22 paise to 71 rupees and 21 paise for the first time against the US currency. Gold prices drifted lower by 100 rupees to 31,250 rupees per 10 grams at the Delhi Bullion market. And Brent crude prices in intraday trade today were trading around $78.18 per barrel. Rajesh Lake, AIR News. The News Services Division of All India Radio in its weekly bilingual live phone-in program, Public Speak, will bring you a discussion tonight on the National Nutrition Mission. This can be heard on FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from 9.30 p.m. Listeners can ask questions to the experts sitting in our studio on toll-free telephone number 1-800-115767. You can also ask questions on telephone number 011-2331-4444 and post queries on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts by hashtag AskAIR. This program is also available on our Doordarshan DTH. In Brazil, a fire has gutted the National Museum in Rio de Janeiro, the oldest scientific institution in the country. Most of the 20 million items it contained, including the oldest human remains ever found in the Americas, are believed to have been destroyed. Pakistani lawmakers are set to choose a new president tomorrow. The ruling Pakistan Tehreke and Saaf Party's candidate, Arif Alvi, is expected to win as the opposition parties fail to field a joint candidate. Apart from Alvi, the Pakistan People's Party's Chaudhry Eth Zaz Ahsan and Jamiate Ulema F. Chief Molana Fazalur Rahman are also in the race. Indian skipper Virat Kohli has maintained his top spot in the latest ICC rankings of test batsmen. Chiteshwar Pujara remains the second highest ranked India batsman in the list as he retained the sixth position. Kohli achieved a career high 937 rating points after innings of 46 and 58 in the fourth test against England. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says government is focused on financial inclusion of the poor, especially in remote areas. India and Cyprus ink two MOUs on financial intelligence sharing and environment. President Ram Nath Kovind invites Cyprus to join International Solar Alliance. One Nation, One Card policy for connectivity between various modes of transport to be unveiled shortly, says Niti Aayog. In Karnataka, Congress emerges as single largest party closely followed by BJP in urban local bodies elections. And in cricket, 
Virat Kohli maintains top slot as test batsman in latest ICC rankings. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.